Welcome to Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City, a popular destination for families and thrill seekers alike. This 70 acre water park features a wide variety of attractions and activities, including water slides, wave pools, lazy rivers, and much more. However, amidst all the excitement and joy, there was a tragedy that shook the entire park to its core. On August 7, 2016, a day of fun and adventure turned into tragedy when 10-year-old Caleb Thomas Schwab lost his life on the Verrucht, the world's tallest water slide. In this video, we will explore the events that led up to this heartbreaking incident and the aftermath that followed. We will hear from witnesses as we try to understand what went wrong on that fateful day. Join us as we honor Caleb's memory and understand the impact of this tragedy on the park and the wider community. And as always, viewer discretion is advised. The Varuk Slide, located in Schlitterbahn Water Park, was once known as the world's tallest water slide. It boasted an incredible 168-foot drop that sent riders flying down at speeds of up to 70 miles per hour, making it a thrilling and exhilarating ride for all who dared to try it. The ride had experienced problems during test runs, with the raft frequently coming to a stop as it traveled up the slide. To combat this, water jets were installed to maintain the raft's speed, preventing it from stalling. However, this solution led to another problem, as the combined speed of the water jets and the drop caused the front of the raft to lift into the air. To address this issue, a weight requirement of 400 to 550 pounds was put in place to keep the raft from going airborne. On the fateful day of the incident, Caleb was seated in the raft with two adult women. During the course of the ride, Caleb was ejected from the raft and collided with a metal ring that provided support to the ride safety netting at a speed approaching 70 miles per hour, causing catastrophic injuries to his neck and ultimately resulting in his tragic decapitation. Esteban Castaneda, a witness to the incident at Schlitterbahn Water Park, recounted a heart-wrenching scene in the aftermath of the boy's passing. Castaneda reported hearing loud booms from the slide's vicinity followed by seeing a body washed down the slide. He noticed a lifeguard trying to push the crowd back from the slide, but he continued to try to help because he thought there was someone lying face down in the water. The lifeguard told Castaneda that there was nothing he could do to help. It was at that point that he noticed the boy appeared to have been decapitated. Castaneda reported that two other women were strapped into the raft and the first position of the raft was empty. This is likely where Caleb had been sitting. Castaneda also reported that he had ridden the slide earlier in the day with his cousin's 14-year-old daughter. She had told him that her safety belt's Velcro came undone towards the end of her ride. The Kansas City Police revealed further information on Monday describing the boy's death as resulting from a deadly neck injury that occurred at the end of the ride. The two women riding in the raft with Caleb suffered minor facial injuries. They were not related to the boy. Reportedly, Caleb had been allowed to sit in the front of the raft, between two women who weighed significantly more than him. This created an uneven weight distribution, which some experts believe may have contributed to the raft going airborne, although the total weight of 546 pounds was within the recommended maximum weight of 550 pounds. Engineers who inspected the ride also noted that the netting, used in areas where riders reach speeds of up to 70 miles per hour, posed a hazard, as riders moving at high speeds could lose limbs if they collided with it. The inspection revealed that the ride's use of metal bracing and netting, as well as the use of hook and loop straps to restrain riders, violated safety guidelines set by Committee on Amusement Ride and Devices. The guidelines recommended the use of a rigid over-the-shoulder restraint, 
and an upstop mechanism to prevent rafts from going airborne, which Verrupt did not have. The visitors of the theme park were left in a state of shock and trauma after witnessing the death of Caleb. According to eyewitness Melanie Goak, she heard a loud noise and immediately looked over to see Caleb with a broken neck sliding down the slide, leaving a trail of blood. Her friend, Jess Sanford, also saw Caleb slide down the last half of the slide and witnessed the blood. Caleb's friend was screaming for help, and staff members and medics rushed to the scene. However, the first responders quickly realized that Caleb was already dead and did not attempt to revive him. Following Scott Schwab's emotional address to fellow legislators regarding the death of his son and its profound impact on him, lawmakers voted to modify the law that allowed Schlitterbahn to conduct self-inspections. The amendment mandated that all amusement park attractions in the state undergo regular inspections by the state government. In November 2016, Schlitterbahn announced that the Verup water slide would be demolished after a criminal investigation concluded. The Schwab family settled with several parties involved, including Schlitterbahn, for roughly $20 million in early 2017. However, settlements involving the two other individuals who were injured in the incident were undisclosed. In July 2018, a judge sanctioned the park's plan to disassemble the Verrucht ride beginning the following September. However, discussions in multiple court cases filed after the event placed the ride's dismantling on hold indefinitely. The park finally commenced dismantling the ride in November 2018, and the work was completed within two months. The park did not operate during the subsequent season, resulting in a negative impact on Schlitterbahn's reputation and finances. Two of the company's water parks in Texas were sold in June 2019 for $261 million to Cedar Fair which owns several amusement parks nationwide. On March 23, 2018, Schlitterbahn and former director of operations Tyler Austin Miles were indicted by a grand jury on charges of involuntary manslaughter, aggravated battery, aggravated child endangerment, and interference with law enforcement. The indictment accused the park of negligence, concealing design flaws, and downplaying the severity of previous injuries reported on the ride. The indictment also stated that the ride's designers, John Timothy Schooley and Jeffrey Wayne Henry, lacked technical expertise and used crude methods to test its performance in haste to launch the ride. Schooley admitted that the design process was not easy and that they lacked knowledge on how to do it properly. Three days later, on March 26, Henry was arrested in Cameron County, Texas, for his involvement in the incident. One day later, on March 27, a new indictment was released, charging Henry, Schooley, and Henry and Sons Construction Company with second-degree murder, in addition to 17 other felonies. Schooley was arrested at Dallas-Fort Worth International Airport on April 2, 2018, upon returning from China. The defendants were arraigned in April 2018, and the first criminal trial began in October. The tragedy that occurred on the Verrucht at Schlitterbahn Water Park in Kansas City will forever be remembered as a heartbreaking loss. Our thoughts are with Caleb Thomas Schwab's family and loved ones. And as always, thank you for watching.